Okay, so good morning. Okay, so this time we are going to review the client and the value from the numbers. So if we are going to the numbers, it is going to be the integers. Now, we are going to be the integers. Wherein we have the positive and the negative numbers. Okay. So, when we multiply positive numbers or divide two integers, the sign rules are different than we have also struck our numbers. Because of that, when we multiply or divide two positive integers, the solution is positive. So, for example, we have a 7 and 6. If we multiply that, so the answer is 42. So, both are positive, but okay, 7 and 6. So, the product is 42. And then, when we have 2 and 9, so we multiply 2 and 9, so we have 18. 20 and 1, so we have 20. And then, if we have division, so for example, we have 12 divided by 3, so that is equivalent to 4. 16 divided by 8, so we have 2, and 8 divided by 8 is equal to 1. Okay, so itong tinatawag natin 7 and 6, for example, yung tinatawag natin factors. Diba? So, factors siya in terms then sa ating multiplication. Okay, so take note of that. These are the factors. Okay, for example, it's in 2 and 9. So, factors in 2 and 1. And also, 20 and 1. Okay? How about if we multiply or divide negative and negative? So, both numbers are negative. So, when we multiply or divide negative integers, the solution is also positive. So, of that, for example, negative 7 times negative 6, so we have positive 42. Negative 2 and negative 9, the product is 18. And when we have negative 20 and negative 1, the product is 22. Okay? Also, negative 12 divided by negative 3, so we have 4. Okay? Then negative 16 divided by 8, and that is equivalent to 2. And negative 8 divided by negative 8 is equivalent to 1. Okay? So, it's not like that. So, answer them, negative times negative is positive. Okay? Also, negative divided by negative is the quotient is positive it's not like that how if we have unlike signs so we have positive and negative so when we multiply or divide one positive and one negative integer the solution is always negative. It's not like that. It's not like that. It's not like that. So, regardless of which is larger or which is written first. So, if you don't like that, it's not like that. 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 Addition and subtraction of integers. We need to get high enough. Now, so for example, negative seven times positive six. So we have 
negative 22 so 2 and negative 9 the product is negative 18 and then we have positive 2, 2 and negative 1 so the product is negative 20 as soon as then sa ating division na so negative uh, positive 12 divided by negative 3 so we have negative 4 as the position also negative 16 divided by 8 so we have negative 2 and negative 8 divided by positive 8 the quotient is negative 1 ok so alam na so positive times negative the product is negative or positive divided by negative the quotient is negative ok now so to summarize we have adding the word positive times or positive plus positive is negative negative plus negative is negative positive plus negative that is equal to the sign of the larger number the larger number of absolute number enough and then in subtracting integers so keep change then change ok so for example let's say we have 3 minus 5 so reacting so, ito eh, babalik natin sa adding integers so we have 3 plus negative 5 na? so 3 plus negative 5 so nagkaroon tayo na change yeah. and then we have now negative 2 at the time ok and therefore ito, ito daw 3 yung mga na so dapat ito ay manatili lang and then change and then alalaman natin kung ano yan magiging sagot na base kung alin ang mas malaki ang value or the sign of the larger number since negative ang larger number so negative yung magiging kasagutan natin ok and then multiplying and dividing integers so positive times positive is positive or if you multiply or divide positive numbers or like signs the product or quotient is always positive so continue how time and then if we multiply or divide two and like signs like signs positive and negative the product or the quotient is always negative the clear so a lot of other these activities multiply or divide so number one negative 30 a negative 10 times 3 so what should be the answer so that is equivalent to negative 30 good how about uh, positive 7 and negative 2 so on the right side so the product is negative and that is equivalent to negative 3 ok and then look at the given example negative 18 and negative 3 ok so they are both negative so the product uh, the quotient will be 
positive and 18 divided by 3 is 6 okay very good so that is positive but 6 how about number 2 negative 4 times negative 3 what are negative negative formula so that well that is positive 4 and right time 5 and 2 the product is 10 and then in like sign as you have said negative 10 okay and then negative 20 divided by positive 2 okay but you learn as sign then 20 divided by 2 is 10 so that is negative 10 that is positive how about if we have now algebra expression okay so we have 3 times negative 5x so and we multiply nothing on numerical position and that is negative 50 okay and then copy this variable so negative 15x how about negative 1 and positive 7x and that is negative 7x okay and then negative 2 times negative 3 y so far as we are negative so this product will be positive and that is positive 6 y and then positive 10 divided r times negative 5 c so far so we are going to sign so the product is negative then 10 times 5 and that is equivalent to 50 then copy the variable so negative 56 okay so let us check our answer to the solutions so the number one we have the correct answer of negative 30 then so number 2, negative 14, number 2, number 4, negative 10, negative 6, and negative 10. Okay. Okay. And then for number 7, we have negative 15 x, 6 y, negative 7 x, and negative 56. Okay, so did you get the same answer? So that's all for so our review in multiplying and dividing our integers. Thank you.